Hey everyone, I'm delivering another message today. And one thing that was on my mind is stop burning sage inside your house. I thought this was cleansing my house, but what it was doing, it was inviting demons inside my house. So to everyone out there, you don't want if you don't want demons inside your house, stop burning sage. That's the number one way to invite these de demonic entities into your house. And I, I thought literally, I thought I was cleansing my house. And one thing is that God always uses me. You know, he always sends me on these secret missions. And I swear, like the month I was burning sage into my house, I swear, even like some of these celebrities, I swear, whatever demonic entities that was in them, they came and visited me. <clears throat> and they were trying to give me advice on my house. And you know what? I took that advice, you know, I did, but from now on, I'm not I'm not burning sage into my in, in my house or anywhere. I'm not doing it. I'm not getting involved in that. And any Christian out there, any believers in Christ, if you don't want demonic entities into your house, stop burning this sage, man, cuz that's all it's doing. And what else I want to say? Like I said, God is always using me. That's the thing. I used to, like, I'm always in a repentive state because I'm always looking back on my life and all, all the stuff that I've been involved in, honestly. And it was all for a reason, you know. Like, even back in elementary school, you know, I was a bully. And then I stopped wanting to be a bully, so I started hanging out with the, you know, the the nerd squad. And then in ele in middle school... I decided, you know what, it was uncomfortable for me to be a bully because I kept getting into a lot of trouble. I could curse like a sailor. I did all of that stuff. Like, literally, I was born in the hood, and literally right down the street from me, it was like a dope house. And my older brother used to hang out with them all the time. They had one dope dealer named Man. And I swear, like, at least once every year, they would have SWAT and cops cars cop cars come to um, that house and break in and send them to jail. I swear it was like every time man got out of jail, like literally a year or two later, they would have cop cars down there. So like I was saying, like I, I knew how to hang out with the cool kids. I, I usually, I was a bully and then, but it never, I never felt comfortable being a bully. You know, I never felt comfortable hanging out with the cool kids because you know, I always ended up getting in a lot of trouble and that it just wasn't me, you know, but I think God ended up using that as a way for me to, um, for lessons learned, you know, so I can help others out there that grew up the same way I did in the certain types of situations that I didn't let them know, you know, I was there, you know, I can relate, but God got me out of it. He got me into a better situation. So these are just some life lessons I'm learning. Stop burning sage. You're inviting these demonic entities into your house. God bless y'all.